All right, let's look at the practice exam three, number six, part A. All right, so we want to uh, evaluate this uh, definite integral uh, using um, uh, geometric formulas. All right, so let's do that. So first we have to sketch the graph of uh, y equals absolute value of x minus one. All right. Then we know how to sketch this. Um, you know, you, we know that uh, um, y equals absolute value of x uh, looks like this. All right. So we know how to draw y equals absolute value of x. Right. So that looks like a V shape uh, going through the origin. So it's going to go through there. So it looks like this. All right. Then uh, we can apply a transformation. So this transformation is shifting to the right one unit. So which means that uh, this uh, V-shape is shifted this way by one unit. So you see that the graph is going to look like this. And of course, this is going to hit one and uh, it's going to look like that. All right, so let's find the region. So we are going from 0 to 3. So starting from 0 to 3. So it should be around here. All right. So this is 0 to 3. All right, so that's the region. All right, so we just have to find the area. All right, so this area, so uh, let's see, height is right here. Let's see, just plug in zero into the function. Zero minus one with the absolute value sign is one. So height is one and a base is one. So this triangular region has an area of one half, base is one, height is one. All right. And uh, this one right here is another triangular region. Uh, base is going to be 2 because it goes from 1 to 3, right? If you plug in 3 into the function, 3 minus 1 absolute value, so that's 2. So height here is 2, right? So the area is, again, 1 half base times height, which is 2. So uh, this comes out to be one half, and this comes out to be two, right? Therefore, uh, this integral is going to come out to be just a combination of those two areas, so one half plus two, right? But the two is four over two, so it's a five over two, right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.